Hey there, fifth graders. Welcome back. It's Mrs. Casilio, your favorite virtual online teacher, and we are ready for our school away from school today for week eight, lesson 35. Y'all have done amazing work. We are in lesson 35, and I'm just so proud of you. So let's continue to grow as readers and writers. So our guiding questions, you may have these memorized by now. Let's see. First off, how do natural disasters affect the people? Yep, and places that experience them. And how can we prepare for natural disasters? So the materials you will need. We had a great article yesterday in Lesson 34. We're gonna to continue to work with that today. It is titled, Private Boat Owners Volunteer Time and Vessels to Rescue Harvey Victims. You will need Lesson 35. You will need Lesson 35 Note Catcher, which looks just like the one on your screen, and you will need a pencil. So grab those materials when you have everything you need. Come on back and let's get to work. All right, so our learning target today. I can determine the meaning of general and domain specific words and phrases as they pertain to the text. Now we have done some work with this almost every week. And I just want to remind you that what you're doing is really finding the meaning of some general words that we all use and then words that are really specific to this article and to natural disasters and then how they pertain in the text. So you're gonna use clues in the text to help you figure out the meaning. You're gonna use a dictionary and your strategies with vocabulary. So let's go ahead and read. So grab someone to read that article, Private Boat Owners Volunteer Time and Vessels to Rescue Harvey Victims. Just read it for enjoyment. Think about it and just retain that knowledge. When you're ready, let's move on. Okay, so I want you to think, now that you have a chance to read, think about the two challenge words that you might have noticed from the text. You might have noticed more, but just choose two. What might their definitions be? And think of some synonyms for your words. Remember that synonyms are words that mean the same thing, okay? So look at your words, think about what the definition might be, how did you figure that out, and what might be some synonyms or words that mean the same. A synonym for nice, for example, might be kind, okay? Or gentle wind could be breeze. So they're words that have the same meaning, okay? Do your thinking. All right, now let's talk. So talk about the following questions. What are the definitions of the words you picked out? What are some of the synonyms of the words you picked out? And what strategy did you use to figure out the meaning of your words? So think about your strategies, think about your definitions and your synonyms, and now is a chance to talk about these things. All right, you had a chance to talk, now you get to write. So grab your Lesson 35 note catcher, Research your two words and record a definition in your own words, some synonyms, what strategy you use to determine the definition, and a quick sketch. So definition in your own words, your synonyms, your strategy to figure out how you found out the meaning of the word, and then a sketch of the word. Take your time, do your very best work, and come back when you're ready. All right, so now I want you to share your writing with someone. Be proud of your work. Grab someone. Tell them why you chose to write what you did and why you chose to make the sketch that you did. And after you complete this assignment, grab a good book and go read for a while. And our fluency practice, ask an adult to read the text to you and just follow along. And then practice rereading the text at least two more times on your own so you can increase your fluency. All right, you guys have worked super hard. I'm proud of you. I'm thankful for you. And I will see you back here for our next session.